们好。Olá pessoal, eu estou aqui com a Kylie, com a Ellen. A gente vai comentar sobre um infográfico sobre o atual sistema que a China está tentando implantar de controle social. A gente vai falar um pouquinho sobre o assunto e a gente gostaria de saber da opinião de vocês. Então, se vocês quiserem saber mais sobre isso, todos os links que a gente vai estar、tá、citando aqui estão lá na descrição para vocês verem. The, the Chinese government has announced ambitious plans to implant a national social credit ranking system for its citizens. Pilot projects are taking place, and next year it is target for a unified system. Que podemos tirar disso? Eu acho que assim é é um plano bem ambicioso, como diz aí. Sim. Tipo, tipo um sistema um único para eles. Para eles, como se sei lá. É, eles tentaram tipo eles querem implementar um sistema social, um sistema social nacional、Sim. de Tipo, ranking por ser, você ser um bom cidadão que enquanto mais você ser bonzinho nos olhos do governo mais mais é, autoridades assim você teria mais é, eu acho que você seria uma pessoa melhor sim, na sociedade na sociedade é. é aqui <risos> que a gente pode rewards include and punishments ok、um, citizen lose points by not visiting One is aging parents regularly. É, eles perdem pontos por, por exemplo, não visitar um parente de idade nas casas de repouso. Por exemplo, as pessoas pobres poderiam sofrer com isso, porque eles poderiam estar, por exemplo, no Taiwan、é. e a, o familiar dele podia estar em outra parte da China é, e eles não conseguiriam visitar essa pessoa tão regularmente. Só que eles iam perder pontos e acabar tendo menos condição de visitar. É menos ainda. e sobre tipo as coisas que você ganha seus rewards praising the government on social media então、so、você fal... então você falaria bem do governo nas mídias sociais mesmo que você não apoiasse que você não concordasse com os ideais você tipo para você ganhar pontos você tinha que falar bem deles tipo sim e você é obrigado assim so socialmente porque se se você não fizer você vai ter the punishments that you're not going to be able to do certain stuff like you can't even book flights to other places of the world like you're gonna be trapped in a in the in the country like I mean I I think it, I think if if you don't like lose points or you don't win anything they will like make you Do something, yeah. even if you don't want to. Like, if you are like neutral in this situation, yeah, you can't you, be neutral. You can't. You will need to do something. And the public shaming on TV and social media, like you're gonna be like a disgrace,、yes. like Asian says, on TV and everywhere. So you're not gonna be like a person anymore. Like you have the, to be a good kid. Yeah, or you have yeah. to be、we'll、smart and、yeah. stuff like that. They will suffer a lot with that. Like,、uh, the mental health is going to like. Plunge, just plunge down. They are not、yeah. going to have it at all. They already suffer. It's like one of the most、uh, highest suicidal rates in the yeah, world. Exactly. I mean, like, and with the pressure of this system, it's just going to be, be worse. worse. Yeah. <laughs> Revival on the Dengen. The Dengen English record was a paper file used. By the Chinese government, containing the following documents. So you have photographs, school reports, employment records, and information on physical characters. So you have everything of yourself in this document, like your fingerprints, your hair color, your eye yeah, color, yeah, everything, your nails, like everything. The like, social credit.、Yeah. It's practically just your life. It's your life yeah, it's in a file. Like, and they are trying just to control it. Yeah, you could like be walking to. The grocery store, and、yeah. someone has a picture of you doing that.、Uh, in 2015, the People's Bank of China enlisted the help of a number of companies to pilot the credit system, raising the issue of third-party data security. What's the interest in banks that they 
just like keep money on doing that like it's, it's like not all about the numbers yeah Your it's number. not even the the value that people think of other people is the value oh, yeah, that they, the they government think. gives you yeah. that they think like yeah that they think is right for each person like oh the person said like a few years back something on the internet that shouldn't have been said but it ended up just losing itself in the vast vague you know infinite abyss of that's the internet but the government accident accidentally like found it picks it out and just said look you said that you can't do anything yeah no. you'll suffer now yeah you're gonna suffer sorry with me you have credits you have more benefits and in your more important person and if you don't have credits you like just poor and your situation is gonna be worse than it was before yeah if you have credits you have everything if you don't yeah. you don't have anything you have nothing yeah, yeah nothing basically at all. all powered smart glasses and drones and large from format screens a technologia é ela combina os rostos uh, em uma em um sistema que tem 1.3 bilhões de fotos por segundo So, they're gonna find your face no matter what. Yeah. yeah. All power the smart glasses and drones used by police officers to effectively monitor citizens. So, they're like going to use glasses with cameras. <laughs> yeah. You're not going that, to that know. That would be effective, you, like yeah. if you were looking for a criminal or something. Yeah. China's the most populated country in the world with more than 1.4 billion people. That's That's a lot. They would be kind of crazy, and I mean, if they just really don't handle it, we'd be like 1.4 billion people fighting against the government. I don't don't know how they can like, a revolution. Yeah, right? like would be a really big thing. How they would like control it? How how how, how would the government control yeah, a revolution? Would, how would Chinese people react to that if it was like for? For real right now like. one yeah. way to control people is not giving the people information the power of knowledge i think that's that's the way the government can like control people like not giving them the information that they need so the kids that are born in this generation are are not going to fight against it because they will learn to live like that the internet there it's all controlled like all the social media it's you like a specific to china Facebook, and there, there's no youtube there like yeah i mean no facebook no no, no Twitter, facebook no, no, nothing. no nothing they they have like their, their own social social media yes would be easier to to make the system work there but i really believe in that stuff in that country like when they want to control people i really believe let's that's see possible. like their uh, large format screens are used to shame offenders and uh deter other others from break, breaking rules such as jaywalking the, that 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 was the thing that we said that like it would be easy to detect criminal criminals and stuff but what if it wasn't a criminal you know what what if it wasn't what the wasn't just person? look like a criminal because yeah of, you know and the big screens like in cities like it, it would detect that person and it would appear in all the screens like people get away from that person you know like dangerous warning 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 and everything's red flashing red and everybody's screaming and scared of that only person and everybody starts and the police are going to be able to detain that person but and the person's going to be like what's What? happening what's, what's happening? happening i was in the phone yeah. <laughs> excuse me i was day walking my here. grandma is dying excuse me what the hell uh the scorecard here Despite the complexities of gathering vast amounts of data, the pilot versions of the system are proving effective. In 2018, those with low scores faced numerous restrictions, like passengers were blocked from buying plane tickets. They have they their dogs confiscated. Yeah, their dogs. I mean, like I think that um, that's a useful useful thing because some some persons they don't take care of it. Yes, but still, uh, like if you say something wrong from the government they're gonna get your dog but i don't oh, have oh. a dog i have a cat we're gonna get your cat <laughs> isso foi em 2018 a gente tá em 2019 já no finalzinho até é, eles vão eles podem ir meio que consertando os probleminhas que tiveram assim Esse então daqui a uns 10 anos não vai ter mais esses problemas vai ter tipo dois três casos assim máximo sabe 
em 10 anos, talvez esse sistema já esteja, tipo, na perfeição. Não, perfeito, mas é. É, eles vão meio que é, blind the person to see, like, the like. bad sides of the of the system and just see the good sides like yeah you're gonna if you be good you're gonna be able to buy plane tickets like for the whole world like you can travel everywhere now like good for you the people in general are yeah the people in general like the citizens are just poor so yeah they are really um they're going to be really easy to persuade Yeah, persuade, like, persuade, like to do to have benefits. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, because they are like already poor, and they'll be like, well, maybe that's good for me because I have to feed my children, and that's yeah. Stuff. Is gamifying human life through constant surveillance the best way to establish trust? As data collection and centralization efforts ramp up, the debate rages on. Like confined in in the system. It's a it's a never ending cycle. And yeah. people are going to start to betray each other. Yeah, because more of and that. more like families are gonna are gonna probably break because of this. Yeah, the trust. Yeah, the and trustworthiness. Is, is gaming human life through constant surveillance the best way to to establish trust? No. <laughs> that's that, that's like something to discuss right there, but we're yeah. already finishing up here, so yeah. maybe for next time. Então, pessoal, paramos por aqui. Todo o material que a gente comentou aqui vai estar disponível aqui na descrição sobre esse site, Visual Capitalist. Então, se vocês quiserem, por favor, uh, procurem saber sobre o assunto e se conscientizar, porque isso aqui pode acabar sendo uma coisa muito maior. A gente vê vocês no próximo encontro.